of what was the first place winner in the recent Criminal Lawyers Award contest. Okay, you ready? You really aren't, but I'm going to read it to you. <laughs> Charlotte, North Carolina. A lawyer purchased a box of very rare and expensive cigars, then insured them against, many other things, fire. <laughs> Within a month, he had smoked all 24 of these great cigars and without, and without yet having made even his first premium payment on the policy, the lawyer filed a claim against the insurance company. In his claim, the lawyer stated the cigars were lost in a series of small fires. <laughs> The insurance company refused to pay, citing the obvious reason that the man had consumed the cigars in a normal fashion. The lawyer sued and won. Stay with me here. Delivering the ruling, the judge agreed with the insurance company that the claim was frivolous. The judge stated, nevertheless, that the lawyer had a policy from the company which it had warranted that the cigars were, in, were insurable and also guaranteed that it would insure them against fire without defining what was considered to be acceptable fire <laughs> and was obligated to pay the claim rather than endure lengthy and costly appeal process the insurance company accepted the ruling and paid $15,000 to the lawyer for his loss of the 24 cigars lost in the fire. Now the best part. After the lawyer cashed the check, the insurance company had him arrested on 24 counts of arson. <laughs> 